you can't just dismiss the acquisition of the Big Maple. I mean, you can't dismiss that. I mean, he's a, he's a number two type of starter, Kev. And also, you're going to have Jay Happ for the entire season. So if you have Jay Happ for six months rather than just two months, maybe you win the 108 games rather than the Red Sox. Maybe the first two games were at Yankee Stadium, not at Fenway Park. I don't think the Yankees were that far from the Red Sox well, last year. I just don't. Well, Red they Sox don't think great. so. They don't think so either. Yeah, they, they, all they do is talk about how it could have been them instead of the Red Sox. Remember, you guys won 100 games last year. So what do you, what was sexy? What do you, they worried about sexy. It's about making the right moves that are going to get you the few wins it's going to take from winning the division instead of having to take the wild card. But let's not, this is not a reconstruction. No. That's a hundred win team. Didn't, didn't, uh, I mean, the, the one thing that worries me the most, and I think it flies under the radar when people talk about what the Yankees are doing this offseason, losing Gregorius is gigantic. He's so important to what they do defensively. He's their right. best defender in the infield. He's a clutch player. He gives them balance in the lineup because he's a left-handed bat when they're right-handed dependent. I mean, that's a big loss. That one throw against the Red Sox, I mean, puts the Yankees in a very unenviable situation. One of their best players is going to be out for three to four months. And I don't even know, are they in on Machado if he doesn't even get hurt? I think they are because they would, they would sell third base. But now Machado looks even more dire because Didi's not going to be there for four months. That's a big deal. It's a huge deal. So that's where I think they lose a little ground. Picking up Paxton was big. But losing D.D. is gigantic. It's enormous. Enormous. But teams don't win 108 games every year either. The no. Red Sox can come back exactly the same way. You know what team won 108 games next year and didn't make the playoffs? I think you know. You lived through it. The world champion Mets. 86. Oh, they, oh yeah, then they, they missed the playoffs they the next the playoffs year. They missed the playoffs the next year. I mean, things go right when you win 108 games. Yeah, and then all of a sudden things start to go wrong. And right. I remember that year, Doc was in rehab. Right. You know, they had every single one of the players in the rotation, including David Cohn, who they picked up, you know, broke his finger in San Francisco. Things start to go wrong. Yep. Now, things could go wrong for a team that won 100 games, too. I mean, it's a war of attrition baseball season, but let's not make the Yankees out to be a team that was, like, blown out, had no chance. I mean, this is a team that won 100 games, and I know they lost in four games to the Red Sox, and some of it was pretty ugly. But if they got to play the season all over again, they could have been the Yankees that won. They hey, lost some players, too. During the winter meetings, we spoke to Cora on the air, and he said when the Yankees won that game, too, he was very upset with his team. Very upset with his team and didn't like the feeling at all. So, I mean, it was a 1-1 series, and then they won that, sec that third game 16-1. to and that kind of changed the whole tenor of the whole series. Yankees could have, I'm telling you, the Yankees are not that far away from the Red Sox. They take nothing away from the Red Sox. They are the world champions of baseball. But going into that series, I picked the Yankees to win. And that wasn't just, that wasn't Yankee boy. I thought the Yankees could beat the Red Sox. They, they pretty well, much split with them the 19 games in the regular season. I'm going to defend you and your pick. Because you went under the feeling that Chris Sale wasn't the same pitcher. And he wasn't. He, but he still pitched he tremendous. Right. And they, they pitched when they needed to pitch. Right? Yep. They pitched better than I thought they were going to. Think about it. They overcame a closer that gave up a run in almost every game he mm -hmm. pitched in. Because everybody around them. I didn't know Ivaldi was going to pitch as well as he pitched. No. No one knew Price would be like that. No. Yeah, and then Price all of a sudden figures it out. And in Sale, we thought that he might have been cooked. But he ended up pitching very well.